Wow, that looks pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to deal with battery degradation at 65,000 miles uh, as uh, shown specifically by the Scan My Tesla app. You can see right here, nominal full pack, 72.1 kilowatt hours. This car has, uh, oh, and by the way, this is the battery tab uh, in all this information here. And um, the, uh, this car comes from the factory with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. And it says I currently have a nominal uh, capacity of 72.1 kilowatt hours. So, and if you look at this other number here, you can see this 3.2 energy buffer. So there's uh, 3.2 kilowatt hours of energy that Tesla protects uh, in their pack. Uh, that's interesting to note because that is um, designed to save the pack. I don't know if it's one kilowatt hour on the top and 2.2 kilowatt hours on the bottom, but I know that um, that, that 3.2 number is important because they are protecting some of the pack capacity. And uh, in order to keep us from truly discharging the pack fully, or maybe even to prevent us from fully charging it all the way. So you could see by the uh, by the um, the data on my tablet here coming through the scan my Tesla app that if you do the math the the battery comes the car comes with a 75 kilowatt hour battery it shows that I currently have 72.1 uh, kilowatt hours of available energy within the battery and that if you do the math that equates to a four percent uh, battery capacity loss. Uh, and that uh, that's right in line with um, with what I was, if, in fact, it's a little bit better than I was told to expect. If you do some research on this, you'll find that uh, typically Teslas, at least Model S's that use the 18650 cells, uh, those those cars are uh, will typically see about a 5% battery degradation in 50,000 miles. And I have 65,489 miles on my car. So in 65,000 miles, I've only seen a 4% uh, battery degradation. And I, I think there are a number of reasons for this. Uh, I, uh, I understand how to treat lithium batteries. And plus, maybe that 5% in 50,000 miles is a pessimistic way to view it. And that most people will see better than that. I don't know. But if you look at the battery degradation curve, for all of the the data points, in fact, um, uh, Ben Sullins did a a video on this uh, about a year or so back, and uh, it showed that everyone with Model S's that had over fifty thousand miles on them, you could see that they had lost about five percent of their battery capacity at fifty thousand miles. Now that does not mean that every fifty thousand miles you lose four five percent, or for me every sixty five thousand miles I'm going to lose four percent. What that means is uh, most lithium battery chemistries will see a sharp drop. You'll lose typically 5% within the first 50,000 miles. Or like I said, in my case, I have 65,000 miles with a 4% battery degradation. And you'll see that initial loss. And then after the initial 5% loss, it will level off. And you'll lose about 1% more over the same initial period. So uh, let's say you lost 5% in 50,000 miles then you would probably have 1% more at 100,000 miles. So 5% loss at 50,000 miles, 6% total loss by 100,000 miles, 7% total loss uh, within the next you know, 50,000 miles after that. So that's typically the, the loss curve that you'll see. Now, you can see better than that or worse than that, depending on a number of things. And uh, a couple of those items are just the way you treat the car. Now, so in my in my instance, uh, I am. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that what I typically do is charge my car to 80% daily, and then when I get up in the morning, I'll turn the charging back on and cabin heat if it's the winter, and tell it to go to charge up to 90%. And I'll typically leave the the house when the battery is at about 85 or 90% state of charge 
this time of year. And what that does is it prevents the battery from sitting at a very high state of charge for a long period of time. And, uh, and that's, um, that's very important. Uh, to, it's, it's an important um, facet of battery care. Now, uh, there are other things that I do. I typically don't accelerate really hard all the time. This is a long range rear wheel drive car, which means the load on my battery is the easiest of all of the, the Model 3s because I'm only using one motor and yet I have the biggest battery to supply this, this one motor. So even if I'm flooring the car, I'm not pulling nearly as much current from the battery uh, as I potentially could. Uh, with a, a dual motor or even worse, a dual motor performance car. And a lot of that can be seen in the, um, in the battery voltage sag. And I'll be doing another video just explaining voltage sag and, and what that means, how you can read it on the, the Scan My Tesla app and how to apply that to your ownership experience of the car. But today I just wanted to, to show you some of the useful facets of this app, I can just see right on my screen, I have a 4% battery loss. I don't need to worry about, oh, what do the miles say on the screen here? doesn't really matter because Tesla messes around with the, the, um, the algorithm. And I've also been told there's a glitch in that miles. I, I now just go to percentage. I'm at 37% state of charge. And uh, I just, I prefer looking at that rather than the number of miles left because that can bounce around. That's not a, a very accurate representation. So anyway, if you do the math, my car should be 325 mile range, which is what they bumped it up to, which means at a full charge, it should show about 312 miles. We'll see, I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I will charge the pack to 100% state of charge in the morning, and I'll see what my expected range is. Um, but anyway, I'm at 4% battery loss at, um, uh, 65,000, just shy of 65,500 miles. So those are my numbers for you guys. Uh, again, I will be doing more with the Scan My Tesla app in the coming weeks. There are quite a few videos that I can do on this. There's way, just way too much data to squeeze into one video. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions on this, by all means, go ahead and leave a question in the comment section below. And um, let me know if there's something specific that you'd like to know about this setup, uh, my tablet, the Scan My Tesla app, and just other aspects of the car. We'll be putting right-hand drive, um, the screen mounts for right-hand drive Model 3s into production shortly. I'll be doing a video explaining that as well. So thanks a lot, guys. And um, yeah, I, uh, I'm excited to show you guys some more of the data. I'm learning an awful lot about my car, and I really think that for, uh, for the person out there that wants to get the most out of their car, this is really a great setup. So anyway, thanks guys. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye now.